I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello beautiful fertility goddess. Welcome to your Am I Pregnant fertility reading. My name is Janessa, your favorite spirit baby and fertility reader. And I am so happy to have you here. Welcome back if you're returning or welcome if you are new. Make sure you join the family by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already loving the vibes here, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you are ready to dive into your messages, you're probably pretty anxious. You're probably like on edge right now, okay? Wondering if you are currently pregnant or if pregnancy is near. Um, if that's the case, let's dive in, okay? Let's see if pregnancy is near or if you are currently pregnant. Um, I'm hearing some of you guys may be in your two week wait right now, so um, hmm, the number two could be significant. The number two may be significant, interesting. Okay, so let's dive into each pile because I do have four here. So I'll see what where those messages lie as I go through each pile. But of course we have pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four here. Okay, so if you're ready to dive into your messages, the timestamps are down below in the description box as well as in the comment section. And if you need a little bit more time, make sure to pause the video, take a deep breath, close your eyes. Exhale, open your eyes and connect with, with whichever card is drawing your attention in the most, okay? I'll see you in your pile. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you chose pile number one, and this is indeed your reading, we are gonna dive into some messages to see if you are currently pregnant or if pregnancy is near you at this time, okay? Um, I am seeing here, I was in the beginning seeing the number 222 or the number two to be significant. I'm also seeing for this pile number 111. You could be seeing 1111 or maybe you have been manifesting this pregnancy in, okay? Um, because those numbers are coming through. I'm also seeing 12. 11 interesting okay so 12 11 could be significant to something you could even have a birthday that it's on like the 12th or the 11th or maybe even december 11th or in december okay there's something about that i don't know why that's coming through um but that could even be a due date for you okay uh like you maybe do in november or december or maybe even january okay because i am seeing one or february because i'm seeing two okay so definitely could be between november through february that your due date may lie in okay but let's see what we have here I wanted to start off with your tarot cards, but I do have this Road to Pregnancy Oracle message here because this is our featured deck for this reading, okay? This is one of my Spirit Baby Oracle decks, and if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find the link down below in the description box, okay? Um, but that is our featured deck for today. So let's start off with your tarot cards. I have three cards here that are going to show me um, your recent past, okay? Your current energy, and your future energy okay so i feel here in the recent past i feel like um our just your journey in general leading up until this point i feel like it's been tough okay i feel like it's been tough i feel like you have gone through i'm hearing you've tried a few methods to conceive or you've tried a few different things maybe you've been experimenting being innovative okay um with this nine of wands i am definitely feeling like you had to put up a fight or you've put in a fight to get what you want okay um or to manifest or to um bring in what it is that you want which in this case for some of you guys you may be trying to conceive twins i'm being drawn to like this double shell energy the double aries heads there are ram's heads there and then the double heads here on the hierophant so some of you guys may have been trying to manifest twins maybe you guys were um like doing certain protocols to um, help prepare your body for pregnancy, but whatever this may be for you, um, maybe you're just trying to manifest a pregnancy or just get pregnant, right? Um, and whatever this is, I feel like in the past it has been difficult. It has been trial. There have been trials and tribulations that you have had to push through, work through, move through, okay? And some of this, and I feel like honestly, like, um, it's taken a toll, I feel like, on your mental health, in your physical health, possibly even your emotional health, okay? Um, I'm also hearing that for some, you may have even gotten to the space where you're starting to, um, you, you realize, like, 
who is in your corner, okay? Like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, some, like, you've gone through this journey and you've really been awakened to, I'm hearing the reality of life or the reality of, like, who's there to support you when you need them the most and who's not. Um, and I see with this emperor energy, okay, there could be, could be indeed your partner is your biggest supporter, okay, with the emperor representing the dad, um, doesn't mean, doesn't have to be a masculine energy, can be masculine or feminine, but I feel like your partner is representing you, the, is not representing you, is supporting you the most, and I also feel like you realize that you are also one of your biggest supporters, maybe even your only supporter, you may feel like you have your back 100% of the time, or that's something that you've learned through this journey okay with the emperor energy being your current energy i feel a lot of stability i'm hearing you've got a grip okay like you feel like you've got a grip on things maybe you figured out a protocol or a method that you like that resonates or works with you or your body um, resonates or works with your partner's energy as well and their body um, or just maybe even you may have found the right doctor the right guide the right person um, to work with okay I feel like in the future, I do see with the Hierophant, I do feel like there is um, some sort of guide that is coming up in your future. Now, I feel like this could be, okay, this could be you going to a, um, like your first doctor's appointment for pregnancy, but, or it could be in regards to you reaching out to a specialist. This may even be in regards to you um, receiving some sort of further guidance from what you've already like established or received in the past, or even what you've learned on your own, you may be learning more. Um, and some of you guys may even be taking what you've learned and and start teaching others, helping others, um, telling friends. Um, you may even be like a tarot reader or like a health coach, fertility health coach, or a fertility doula, or like you may actually start to be a mentor or a guide because of your past, because of your journey to um, to conception, okay, is what I feel here. But there's definitely a teaching and a learning aspect that's popping up for your near future. Um, and also there's like, if this is not you being the teacher, this is you receiving guidance, are you going to a doctor's appointment? Um, maybe testing, right? Getting a blood test done to see if you are currently pregnant or getting further advice to help you conceive. So let's see what's happening now in regards to pregnancy for you, okay? With the emperor energy, I do feel like this is a possibility. I do feel like pregnancy is possible at this time, especially if um, with the emperor, we have um, Aries season coming through and that is March, April. So especially if you're watching this in March, April. We also have the Hierophant here, which is April, May, okay? So you could be watching this in March, April, or April, May energy, okay? And the Nine of Wands represents uh, Sagittarius season. So um, I was picking up the month of December could be significant for you um, in some way. But what I do feel here is that um, if you're watching it around those times, like March, April, April, May, or if your baby could be due around March, April, April, May, I do feel like pregnancy is a possibility for you. But let's flip over the rest of these cards. I have two more cards for you. And then if I want to pull further, then I'll go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, we have here unexpected change and we have release the petals, transformation, death and rebirth, shedding all change. So I feel like there is definitely a major shift happening right now in your journey. Is it pregnancy? Let me pull another card because with the death and rebirth energy, I feel like it's a possibility here, okay? But I, and I felt with the unexpected change, I feel like this is a change for the better, especially with the emperor energy because there is, um, that's a yes card, okay? The emperor is my yes, is a yes card here for pregnancy or for just in general. Success, okay, representing success, um, taking control. Um, there could be a few more things that you have to do, okay, or a few more things that need to occur, okay, yeah. So there could be a few more things that will be occurring, okay, excuse me, definitely with the Ace of Swords coming through, excuse me, I'm like double birthing here, <laughs> some of you guys definitely gonna have twins, <laughs> um, with the Ace of Swords coming through, I'm seeing that, um, there's two things that's coming through. I feel like you guys may be conceiving within the next three months, okay? Especially with my ace here, um, representing like immediate 
like changes, immediate shifts. Um, but I feel like with this pile, I feel like you guys are going to conceive through the help of a physician, through the help of a specialist, some sort of guidance, knowledge. Knowledge is key here, okay, with the Ace of Swords. Communication is key. Um, education is key. Guidance is key. Okay, maybe even you could conceive through IVF or IUI using a donor, a surrogate. Okay, there's something here where um, there is some sort of innovation happening and I do feel like it involves a third party or it involves um, a physician. So if you have recently, if you're watching this because you just had a, went through a IVF cycle or you just did a transfer, um, you are, you know, doing IUI or maybe even you did at home insemination, um, maybe you just recently had a doctor's appointment or you plan to closely work with a physician moving forward, then this could be a yes for you. Okay. If you plan on meeting with a doctor in your near future for maybe a preconception appointment, there could be some guidance that they give you that helps you conceive. Um, or if you plan on getting certain blood work done soon, maybe in your next cycle, because for some of you guys or for most of you, I feel like you're going to be conceiving within the next like month or two, to be honest, if you're not pregnant at this time, because with the emperor energy, even though it doesn't represent fertility per se, um, and the feminine aspect, it does represent the father. It does represent success, stability, the yes energy. So are you pregnant at this current time? It's definitely, there is a high chance if you have worked with a doctor or if you have um, received guidance recently, if you are going towards that, if you're wondering like, you know, if, if you're debating like should you do a um like some sort of medical procedure or receive some sort of medical assistance um i feel like this is a yes and i feel like it's going to help you um ease things up i feel like you're moving into this space of um like it says here releasing the petals right death and rebirth shedding um you're bringing in major changes from you taking this action so if you have been comp contemplating like should i get a procedure done is that going to help me should i move forward with ivf or iui is that going to help me conceive should i reach out to my doctor to get further guidance is that going to help me conceive these are all yes messages these are all yes answers so like i said if you have done that in the recent past and now you're in your two week wait, waiting to see if you're pregnant, I do feel like it's a yes. If you are, um, if you have been struggling and you've just been trying to throw things at the wall, hoping that it sticks and you are, you know, debating on whether you should reach out for further guidance and assistance, I feel like doing that is going to help you bring in unexpected changes. Um, and I feel like you're going to conceive very quickly. If not that same cycle that you meet with your doctor, the following are the following after that. Okay. Like very quick, like this is fast. Okay. This is a really fast energy with this, with the sword energy here, as well as the unexpected changes and death and rebirth. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what I see for pile number one. I hope this resonates for you. Please let me know down below how it resonates. If it does, um, if you feel like it doesn't, and you feel like this is not your message, then definitely choose another pile. Okay. Um, especially if you had more than one pile that was calling out to you. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next reading. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you selected pile number two, then this is indeed your reading. We are going to dive into some messages that are going to tell us if you are currently pregnant or if pregnancy is surrounding you at this time, if the energy of pregnancy is surrounding you. We may even receive some advice as to how you may be conceiving, okay? Um, that's kind of what came through in pile number one. So I'm just kind of open um, to whatever spirit wants to give us at this time. And I hope that you are as well. I ask that you are open to receive whatever messages spirit has for you too. Please know this is a collective reading. So if at any time you feel like this is not your reading, this is not your pile, please don't try to make it fit to your situation. Maybe there's a different pile for you, or maybe there's a different reading. I have multiple Am I Pregnant readings. So you can check out my, I think it's called How Will I Conceive or When Will I Get Pregnant playlist, something like that. If I remember, I will put it in the um, description box down below, <laughs> but I can't promise that I'll remember, but hopefully I do. Um, that way you can check the other, um, the other readings as well to see if they align with this message, okay? And our featured deck of this reading, our featured deck for this reading is the Road to Pregnancy Oracle deck, 
Okay, so this is one of my Spirit Baby Oracle decks that you can find linked down below in the description box as well. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself or purchase it for um, to help others, maybe you're a healer or a tarot or oracle reader, um, you can use this deck in multiple different ways. You can use it by finding out what's next to come in your fertility journey um, or possibly even asking Spirit what you should focus on next in your path. Okay, so I love this deck. It is one of my faves. Actually, they're all my faves, but this one I really use a lot so I wanted to have this up here because I, it is our featured deck for today but I'm going to start off with your tarot messages okay so we have here oops these are upside down so we have the seven of wands are they all yeah they're all upside down okay and if they weren't all upside down I was going to take the seven of wands in reverse but they were all upside down so that just means I put them that way um so we have here the seven of wands the eight of swords and the strength of Hard, okay so I feel like for this pile okay I feel like you have been like spirit is showing me you have been overcoming obstacle after obstacle okay um, I'm hearing you're not taking no for an answer like you if like there's a brick wall in your way you find a way to climb it if there is a ditch you find a way to jump over it like you you know if there is something like a 10 foot wall you find a way to to, to um dig underneath it and get through it and tunnel like you will find a way um it's what i feel like you have been doing in your recent past okay or this is the energy surrounding your recent past or your past energy and your your path maybe you're just a very um i'm almost hearing like you're a very positive person or you're very um you like to look on the bright side about things the silver lining maybe you pump other people up people may come to you for advice about how they can overcome a situation and you are a solution giver like you love to get solutions but i feel like in your current energy okay you may be feeling trapped you may be feeling stagnant you may be feeling like you know um like there's no way out which is so crazy because i feel like you're you okay like your soul your true self is you're an innovator like you figure out a way there's always a way if there's a will there's a way is what i'm hearing especially with the strength card coming through and the strength card representing our willpower right um it's about um, this, the strength card represents taming our inner lion, our inner lion, our emotions, okay? The emotions that scream at us and make us stay stagnant. The emotions that scream at us and tell us that we're not enough, that we can't do it. I feel like in the future, okay, in your near future, you are going to be taming those 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 emotions. You're going to be taming those thoughts, those those loud noises, okay, that are keeping you stagnant, stuck in one place. And you're going to get back into this space of feeling like yourself. You're going to get back into this space of, let's do this. For some of you guys I'm hearing, it's best for you to mentally take a break, okay? Maybe you're not physically stopping baby dancing, but maybe you're, you're mentally pulling back a bit from, um, like, planning, okay? Like, especially if you have, like, a, a strategy or if you had a plan right ttc plan i'm hearing like pull back a bit from that because that could be making you feel mentally overwhelmed or possibly like you're heading in that direction where you are going to have like sleepless nights or you're going to start to um have insomnia worry um you know um overthinking is, is kind of what i feel here because you're like right before with the eight of swords here the nine of swords represents that the nine of swords represents sleepless nights insomnia um you know just worry um not being able to rest because you're so worried because your mind and the ideas are just swirling through your head so i feel like you are going to tame that energy or i'm telling you that you have the power to tame those your thoughts those thoughts that are swirling in your head saying you can't do it you're not enough you haven't done enough you know you may be thinking like what else can i do you know um why did this happen to me um you know why am i in this journey why is why is my friend getting pregnant and not me like you're questioning everything um versus you be, being very um this is giving me this is this seven of wands is giving me um like hangman energy which is seeing things in a new perspective right instead of you seeing things in a new perspective are you searching for the sun you're just embracing the darkness and you're letting the darkness overtake you um and so but i feel like that's not for long goddess okay i feel like that's not for long now let's see if you're currently pregnant here we have positive pregnancy test yes okay and we have 
um, trust the seasons, embracing change, cycles of life, transition, and growth. So yes, I do feel like there's a, a possibility for you to be pregnant at this time, um, or very, it's very near. Honestly, I feel like you're you're pregnant, okay, um, for pile number two. I see, especially with embracing change, cycles of life, transition, and growth, and positive pregnancy tests, like all of your hard work that you've put in, Goddess, it is paying off, okay? For some of you guys, you could be a Leo. Um, we also have here with the Eight of Swords, we have um, Gemini energy. Okay, so you could be a Gemini as well. And then with the Seven of Wands, we also have Leo energy. So definitely heavy Leo, um, our fire energy. So um, that could be your Sun, Moon, or Rising, Leo, Sag, or Aries, okay? Um, but really heavy Leo. And then I'm also seeing with Gemini energy, that is um, air, okay? So we also have air here. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, heavy Gemini. Um, or this could also be the season that you're watching this in or the season that your baby may be born in, okay? So you could conceive around Leo season um, or Gemini season, or you could be due in Gemini season or due in Leo season. Aries or Sag is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, or Libra, Aquarius, Gemini for due date, okay? So that's what I'm hearing for that. But what I see here, Goddess, okay, is that you are maybe feeling very emotional. And that's why I said it feels weird because, excuse me, it felt weird because you're typically someone who is very, like like I said, innovative, positive, optimistic. Like you, you're able to see the light, like you're able to find a way. But right now you don't feel that way. Um, and so what I feel is that, um, it's because you may be feeling emotional because things are changing in your body, because you are going through this growth, because you are going through this change. You could be in your two-week wait right now, okay? Um, or, and then I'm also hearing, um, what is that saying, Spirit? I got a glimpse of it. Um, something about, like, the hardest. It's like when you... Like you get your, your, you receive your hardest battles like right before you get your reward. That's not the saying, but that's kind of what I feel here. And that's kind of what I was getting like a glimpse of. I didn't get the full say, saying, but Spirit was showing me like this pile of dirt at the end right before you hit the finish line. And it's like you have to, it's your last hurdle that you have to jump over. Um, and you may be feeling like what's the point but like goddess for those of you guys who have not conceived yet okay who are um in your fertile period right now okay you have a high chance of conception this cycle so if you feel like you're being challenged like for example you tell your partner um you know i'm ovulating let's baby dance and then your partner comes home and they're like you know, I'm tired. Like you could be, are they? Or maybe you guys have an argument that used to happen to me all the time. Like around the time that I was ovulating, like me and my partner would get into an argument, and I'd be so mad because I'd be like, I do not want to baby dance with you, <laughs> but I'm ovulating, so let's do this, right? And I don't know why that happened all the time, but that could be something here as well, where maybe you are something, some sort of obstacle comes into your way, or maybe you have you or your partner has a have a late meeting or something at work and you're like oh my gosh or you get your your positive ovulation test at work i feel like spirit is telling you to still baby dance that day even if it's later after you got your peak because your peak on your ovulation test is just telling you that um pregnancy is coming i mean pregnancy <laughs> it's telling you that ovulation is coming now that it's happening at that time and you'll probably be ovulating between anywhere between 12 to sometimes 48 hours or 72 hours for some after you get that peak so it's so important for you to baby dance that day the following day and the day after just to cover all bases um so even if you feel like you miss your opportunity the day of your ovulation day right the day you get your peak it's still so important for you to baby dance a couple days after that okay and of course if you can a few days before but um yes are you pregnant absolutely is pregnancy coming absolutely okay so that is what i have for you pile number two just know that you are going to feel like yourself again i feel like you are stronger than you realize you have actually achieved more than you realize at this time like i said you may be in your two-week wait maybe maybe implanting right now okay and you may feel like there's certain things that are happening in your body but you may be like doubting it saying that it's your period coming or you know certain things like that but i feel here that you are like your things are happening as in babies implanting there's growth occurring okay within you so trust the seasons <laughs>
trust the seasons, okay? Trust the growth, trust the cycles, trust the change. Um, and I'm also hearing that for my goddesses who are still uh, waiting for their ovulation period. Trust the cycles, trust the change, okay? Everything that you've done in the past has led up to this moment here, okay? And it was all worth it. You may not be able to see it now because you may be feeling exhausted, tired, right? And trapped, like mentally, you're really like, you can literally self-sabotage yourself this cycle, <laughs> okay? So I'm so glad you're watching this reading. Um, because you may be like obstacles may be thrown in your way, but you can overcome them, okay? You can overcome them. You will overcome them, okay? You will get pregnant. So um, I'm sending you so much love, light, and of course, baby does. And if pregnancy doesn't happen this month for you, I am seeing once again, um, what is that? May, June for Gemini season and um, July, August for Leo. So those months could be significant um, for conception as well as um, I feel like pregnancy is super near. So even within the next month or two, if you don't conceive this month, okay? So that's what I have for you. Sending you so much love, light, and of course, baby dust. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you chose pile number three, this is indeed your reading. We are gonna see if you are currently pregnant or if the energy of pregnancy is surrounding you at this time. We're actually gonna start off with your tarot cards, but I wanted to have my Road to Pregnancy Oracle here because it is our featured deck for this reading. This is my one of my Spirit Baby Oracle decks or one of my Fertility Oracle decks. Um, and you can purchase this deck by clicking the link down below in the description box or in the comment section. I'll probably have it in the description box. <laughs> um, but this deck is perfect to use if you want to use it for yourself or maybe for others to see what's next, right? What's coming up next in your fertility journey? Will it be pregnancy? Will it be a doctor's appointment? Will there be some changes, some unexpected changes? Um, you can even ask Spirit, what is it that I need to focus on next in my journey? I use this deck in so many ways other than what I've made it for, which is for the what next aspect. It comes in handy all the time. You probably Hopefully, if you've seen multiple readings of mine, you've probably seen it multiple times, okay? So if you want to use this deck for yourself or for others, the link is down below in the description box, okay? So let's start off with your tarot messages here. So we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, actually, let me go this way. Let me do this instead. Um, let's start here. Yep, thank you, Spirit. Let's start here. Okay. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. So, as far as if you are currently pregnant, I do feel like pregnancy is close, if not here, okay? I feel like this is a yes, but we have two cards right here that I'm going to look at, and that's going to really determine pregnancy for us. This is just your path. This is your path to pregnancy. This is what Spirit is showing me here. Um, I feel like, I don't know why I feel like this is about relationship, okay? Something about multiple suitors or multiple options. Maybe you and your partner were like going through your options of how you want to conceive or maybe you have been trying to conceive for seven months, but there's something about like making choices, okay? Um, I do feel like there is this energy here. I'm also seeing 11-11 uh, wish fulfillment with this four of wands so I do feel pregnancy very closely so after it almost feels like you get married or you move into a new home with your partner like you um you guys somehow somehow you guys level up okay like you 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 grow within your relationship okay you expand and grow in your relationship with your partner um and I feel like that doing that helps you be able to focus on yourself your health your wellness your finances it's like you when you conceive you're going to conceive at a time where you're feeling very secure within self, very secure within your relationship and your physical self or your physical foundation. So this is your home, this is your finances, this is your health, okay? I'm also seeing you may be conceiving around the time of like when you are um, like focusing on building as well. So you may also be focusing on like creating a better healthy environment for your pregnancy, right? Maybe through um, 
purchasing a new home, right? Growing your, expanding and growing your home so that you have room for your, your growing family. This could even be by like detoxing or cleansing your body or eating healthier, working out, doing things to bring in great health for your body so that taking prenatal vitamins, right? Taking certain supplements, um, eating certain foods, getting nutrients from certain foods and stuff um, to prepare for baby's conception, baby's um, implantation, right? Um, I do feel high fertility here though. Okay, so let's, I'm curious. Let's see what we have here. So being guided very closely and clarity, a fresh start, start in a positive outlook. So are you guys pregnant at this current time? I do feel like this is a yes. Okay. I do feel like pregnancy is here for my, um, pile number three. Okay. So I see here with morning dew, clarity, a fresh start and a positive outlook. Um, I do feel like you are, um, preparing to um, start a new like um, beginning, okay? It feels like you're starting a new beginning. Like I said, it says being guided very closely. I feel like you achieve pregnancy through great focus. It's like um, around the time that you're focusing on, like like I said, building your foundation or you're building something here, okay? Um, you, could, you could have worked with someone, right? You could have worked with a doctor or, um, a certain it's almost like you you chose a certain method a certain person to connect with a certain thing here right instead of trying a whole bunch of different things you chose one or two and you went forward with that and with that are working with those people maybe a chiropractor and your your OBGYN or maybe a fertility specialist and an herbalist um, you know, it just feels like two different things. This could even be by taking, um, drinking a certain fertility tea and then taking a certain herbal supplement. Like it's like you chose two different things instead of like a whole bunch of different things to stay focused on. And I feel like those really help and you stay consistent with it. Okay. Um, it's what I'm hearing, like the consistently being with this being guided very closely. It's like you were very consistent and repetitive in this, whatever this is here for you. And that leads you to pregnancy. See, for some of you guys, you're going to conceive a baby girl, okay? Or you have indeed conceived a baby girl is what I'm hearing, okay? And what I'm seeing as well. Uh, but with clarity, a fresh start, and a positive outlook. I'm, with a positive outlook, we have a positive pregnancy test there. And with a fresh start, it's like you're starting a brand new beginning in your life, okay? This is like a brand new chapter that you're preparing to enter. And this is a chapter of pregnancy, especially with the Queen of Pentacles there and the Page of Pentacles, okay? So um, definite and a leveling up. Up. Okay, leveling up is pregnancy, right? You guys are growing within your relationship. You're going from um, a family of two to a family of three, a family of three to a family of four. So you guys are growing and expanding here, okay? So um, I'm definitely seeing pregnancy surrounding this pile. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Definitely heavy earth sign here. Um, or that could even be the seasons that you conceive in, you are due in. Um, so you maybe have a due date that falls in. Um, what is Capricorn season? December, January. Virgo season is um, August, September, and Taurus season is April, May. So your your due date may fall in that time frame. Um, we also have here with the Four of Wands, we have um, Aries energy as well. So you could also have a Aries baby, okay? Or maybe you're, you're watching this around Aries season, or that is your zodiac sign, okay? Aries is March, April. So that could be around the time that you conceive or find out that you're pregnant as well and then with the seven of cups we have scorpio energy so it could also be um scorpio is october november so that you could be a scorpio or possibly even conceiving or giving birth to your baby around scorpio season which is october november okay so that's what i have for you guys lots of fertile energy um if you have not yet conceived say you're not in your two-week wait yet which i feel like a lot of you guys are like i feel like either you just recently found out you're pregnant but especially with these four of wands we have like the two positive um the positive lines, right, on a positive pregnancy test. There's two lines typically, and I see here we have double the lines there, okay? So some of you guys could even have twins, but I do feel like there is a um, positive pregnancy test that you've either recently received, you're going to receive very quickly. Like, there's definitely a lot of clarity coming in here, a lot of, um, what is it, spirit? Uh, 
like you're finally being able to see why you've been feeling so emotional lately and decisive lately okay why you've been wanting to eat a lot lately or maybe rest okay <laughs> like you're starting to finally things are starting to finally make sense because you're going to get your positive pregnancy test is what i'm seeing here for pile number three um anything else spirit anything else definitely could be around the time of a celebration maybe an anniversary or a wedding um or a uh, what is this spirit? Um, like a birthday party or something that you may be conceiving or finding out you're pregnant. I don't know why I'm also picking up Christmas time. So some of you guys could be watching this around Christmas time um, and that can be significant for you. But uh, yeah, that's what I have for you. So sending you lots of love, light, and of course baby dust. And I'll see you in my next reading. Bye. Hello, beautiful fertility goddess. If you chose pile number four, this is indeed your reading. We are going to dive into some messages to see if you are currently pregnant, if the energy is surrounding you, and what you can do to conceive. Okay, if you are not pregnant just yet, are you just curious about what you can do to be successful? Okay, to conceive your baby. Um, so because there, there have been some messages that came out in the other piles as well surrounding that, so I'm sure it's going to come out in yours. Um, if you do feel drawn to any other pile definitely select it okay because there could be some things in there that um, are going to help you with conception or possibly give you the answer that you are looking for okay give you some answers that you're looking for now we're gonna start off with our tarot messages here that I have already selected um, that I have not seen but I mean I'm really curious to see what they are so we're gonna start off with those but I wanted to have the road to pregnancy Oracle card here because this is our featured deck for our reading today um, this is one of my fertility Oracle decks you can find the link down below in the description box if you would like to purchase this deck for yourself to use it on your own journey um, it's very very like beginner friendly um, or if you want to use it for someone else's journey okay if you're a fertility reader or if you're a tarot or Oracle card reader um, you can use this to help others or even if a, a healer of some other type okay um you may also be able to use this oracle deck in your um services okay so with this deck i made it so that we can ask spirit what's next what can we expect next in our journey or possibly even what should we focus on next in our fertility journey i use it in multiple different ways like obviously i'm using it in our am i pregnant reading today so um i have found many other uses for it if you would like to purchase this deck the link is down below in the description description box okay so let's get started with this is actually going to be our yes or no message today for if you are currently pregnant um, or one of them at least we have a few here so let's start off with our tarot messages first okay so let me lay them out we have the five of wands we have the four of pentacles we have the five of pentacles And we have the nine of pentacles. Ooh, a lot of earth energy here. So you could be an earth sign, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, there could be, um, what is it? Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Um, we also have fire energy here, okay? With the five of wands, we have Leo season. So you could be a Leo, okay? Um, so let's see what we have here. Copy through. I feel like in the recent past, there's been a lot of conflict, okay, surrounding your, I feel like, honestly, I feel like this is in regards to health, okay? You may have been going through, like, a, a very deep um, healing journey. Um, this can be mental health, emotional, spiritual, or physical health. I'm definitely feeling heavy physical with all of this pentacle energy here, but I feel like you have been trying to figure things out is what I feel. I feel like you have been very strict um it's almost like as soon as you start building yourself up a bit and you feel like you're getting into a healthy space you fall down right you start to feel like something hits you okay um it's like you get into this energy of lack or it's not even getting into the energy of lack it's like what i'm seeing is like maybe you were um going to work out right because you wanted to build up your strength so you're like i'm going to work out i'm going to work out and then all of a sudden you catch the flu and then you're like healing from the flu healing from the flu and then you heal from the flu and then your first day of working out again like you catch like a rash or something <laughs> i don't know that's so ridiculous but like i feel like it seems like there's always something okay is what i'm getting here there's always something well i feel like in your recent or your near future okay you're moving into a space of abundance i feel like um 
the like whatever you are putting in okay whatever you are doing to build your health is working to build your foundation is working here with the nine of pentacles um showing me a very abundant goddess okay i also feel like you should reach out for support too okay um to help you because there is something about like communication partnership working together okay um receiving assistance receiving some sort of uh, like guidance to help you um that i feel like that's what's going to help you get over this hump like especially if you feel like you're in the same cycle like there's always something there's always something it's like you receiving guidance from a friend or from a family member or if this is financially right receiving some sort of financial assistance to help you assist you and this is in regards to health going to your doctor or seeing somebody who can maybe an herbalist who can help you heal from the inside out okay or a fertility health coach who can help you come up with a game plan for your journey like there's something about um like someone seeing things from the outside looking in um and them being able to like help you in a way that you wouldn't be able to help yourself okay is what i feel now are you currently pregnant let's see what we have here for your messages we have being spontaneous as your first message okay honestly I feel like you may be conceiving um, unexpectedly, okay, with being spontaneous. I feel like you may be in this space of, um, for some of you guys, I'm hearing you may conceive quickly after a loss, okay? This can be um, a pregnancy loss. This may be in regards to like feeling like you've lost something else, like right after, oh, okay. This, yeah, definitely this could be in regards to like right after you've, you've been sick, okay? Or right after you've missed some days at work or um, like because you were sick, right? Because you had to take some time off. Um, some of you guys, this could be like right when you decide to take a break, you conceive. Um, it just feels like you were like, just trying to stay steady with something to build up and prepare for pregnancy and get pregnant, right? You were trying to stick with the regimen, stick with the routine, um, and then all of a sudden, like, you get sick, right? And you go to the doctor, your doctor gives you certain medication or takes you off of work or whatever the case may be, and you spontaneously conceive when you're not actively trying, okay? And I know that sounds crazy too, but I do feel like that is someone's story. I do feel like you are going to conceive spontaneously when you least expect it. It's what I'm hearing, okay? Let's see what we have here. So we have the codes of the seeds. It says the blueprint is within you. Take the next step. And this 100% looks like implantation to me. Okay, this 100% looks like implantation to me. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have plant yourself here. So implantation again, integration, embodiment, grounded action. And we have the blue. Creations, realize, right time, harvest, and celebrate. So, are you pregnant at this current time? I do feel like there's a high possibility for pregnancy, okay? Um, if you feel like this is your story, okay, um, I do feel like you are going to spontaneously conceive and then you'll, you'll like, the creation will be realized, right? <laughs> it's like, it's almost like Spirit is saying um, divine timing has a big part in this plan here. Um, but what you're being asked to do is to take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Do the things that you feel you must do, right? We have grounded action, okay? We also have um, take the next step. So it's like you're being called to um, resolve conflicts by taking the right actions, by taking the actions um, necessary to bring in stability, to bring in um, great health, to bring in abundance, right? Um, and so by you doing this, okay, by you, for example, if you get sick, you go to the doctor, right? If you are having some pain or discomfort in your body, you go get it checked out. If you are weak, you go get strong, right? If you have been um, feeling dehydrated, you drink water. It's like, you know, from whatever this conflict, conflicted energy is, you bring in a solution to it, or you take action um, in a way that provides a solution for it, right? And then from there, it's like, that is when this, this creation happens. This, that is when baby is conceived spontaneously okay some of you guys may even like be watching this file because you're wondering if you're pregnant and you weren't actively trying okay and so you find out that yes you are indeed pregnant okay but from a spontaneous action from maybe you said that was my last child right like i'm not having no more kids and then all of a sudden you have 
a spontaneous baby or you know maybe you just weren't trying at this time um and boom you're like what is going on right you can see so um i do feel here that if pregnancy is not happening at this time goddess it is definitely coming in very soon for some of you guys this will be around september okay for others i am seeing capricorn season which is december january as well okay we also have taurus here so we have all the earth energy um and then with the five of wands we also have leo okay so um that could be around the time you conceive definitely have the earth energy with the codes of the seeds and then plant yourself here um so it could definitely be around the time that you conceive um, around the time that your baby is due or born or that could be your zodiac sign virgo capricorn taurus or leo okay so this is what i have for you goddess i hope you enjoyed this message I'm sending you so much love light and of course baby dust for your journey and please let me know down below in the comment section how this reading resonates with you and your path Bye.